everybody. Welcome back to Game Time. Thanks for joining me. I'm your host, Jackie Pirico. Today I'd like to talk about a style of game that we've talked about before, but I'd like to get more into depth with it. We're talking today about solo gaming. Gaming when you're just by yourself, lonely and alone, and all your friends are busy doing other cooler stuff, and you're just sitting there by yourself, but you still wish to play a game. Solo games all have certain things in common. One, they're always coming in some kind of pouch or baggie, so you can take them around with you when you're feeling at your most deepest loneliness in public. Two, they're always brightly colored and they're always dazzling you and distracting you and busying your brain and distracting you from your deep, deep loneliness, day-to-day -day crippling loneliness. And three, they're normally educational, so you feel like you're learning something and you're experiencing and gaining knowledge through playing solo games. But here's what I don't like about solo games. One, they're always for brainiacs, and you always see these brainiacs playing solo games like on the bus and on the train, like precious Sudoku and precious Rubik's Cubes, and people are always like, ooh, look how smart I am. I am playing a fun brainiac game and I'm smarter than you. Well, here's what I don't like. When I try those games, I'm bad at them and it makes me feel dumber than when I started. And I also don't like how solo games are always trying to distract you from your loneliness with bright colors and zany sounds like Bop It or Simon. I don't want to be distracted from my loneliness. I want to be someone to help me fix my loneliness and make it go away instead. Well, guess what? I've invented my very own solo game to remedy all of that. It's called Jackopoly, and here's how it goes. Jackopoly comes in a pouch, just like all other types of solo games. And inside of it, there's certain contents. One, we've got the door from Mystery Date. Two, the wooden stick thingy from Scrabble. Just steal that. Three, a solitary dice. Just one single lonely dice. And then lots of tiles from Scrabble stolen as well from your parents' Scrabble game. Put those in your pouch. And then you've got Jackopoly. Now, here's how to play. Number one, take your Scrabble stick and place it. Number two, take seven tiles out of the baggie, just like Scrabble. And this part requires counting, so I hope you're not a dumb baby and know how to count to at least seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't even have to go back for more. So now you're gonna arrange your letters on the Scrabble stick that you stole. And you better hope that your family doesn't find out that you stole all these parts from your Scrabble game and your mystery date game. Because you know what they do when you steal their stuff. So you arrange your letters like so. Oh, this is a real motley crew of letters we've got here. Now, the next thing you do is roll your dice. It's just one dice, so it shouldn't be too hard. Maybe give it a good luck puffer out. You know, like in Vegas, when an old man's like, hey baby, puff your breath on this dice of mine. And she goes, oh my God, okay, puff, puff. And like the whole time he's like looking down her freaking top. And you do the dice. Oh my gosh. I only got one snake eye, like a pirate snake, because he's only got one eye. That's boring, I'm gonna roll again. Puff, puff. Because no one's here to tell you what to do, you're by yourself, who cares? Roll a thousand times if you want, you got nowhere to be. Oh look. I rolled a four. So now you take your mystery date door and you twist the knob four times because there's a tons of different dudes in there and it depends on how many times you twist the knob what dude you're gonna get. So one, two, three, four. I'm already feeling less lonely. Whoa, hang 10 dude, freaking surfs up. I got a sexy hot surfer dude, cowabunga baby. Now we're cooking with the cooking oil. Now, the next object is to use your letters to come up with a reasonable name for your new hot date that's at the door. And the more letters you use, the better. And the shorter you pick the name, the better too. You can't take all day, but you could take all day too because there's no one around to tell you what to do. You're all alone. So let's see. Oh dear. Hmm. Uh, cha, er, boom. Oh, like bae, bae, how people say bae, ugh. He would, he is my baby though. That, um, bass, uh, 
What do I got going? Oh, like, um, Tabast. It's like short form for Sebastian kind. Oh, wait, no, maybe I'll. Tabasti. Mm, I don't know. He doesn't look like a Tabasti to me. What about. Esteba. Este. He's like Spanish. Like Este. Um, Testaba. Uh, Testaba. Testiba. Hold on now. Oh, yeah, my new date, Testiba's here. Mom, Dad, I can't have spaghetti supper. My date, Testiba's at the door. He's a surfer. You wouldn't get it. And that's how the game goes. You're not lonely anymore. You didn't need any friends to play it because it's a solo game. And now you have a date at the door who you named yourself and you're finally not just by yourself anymore. It's called Jackopoly and I made it up. So if you want to play it, you have to tell everyone that I made it up. So there you have it. That's a whole new world of solo gaming. Tune in next time to Game Time. I'm your host, Jackie.